In front of me here, are some of the engine components that are going to be uh, becoming ASBO 52. And it's another Royal Enfield, an Indian 500 bullet engine, um, all stripped down. It arrived partially stripped down. I just had to strip the bottom end of it. Uh, the top end was already removed and in bits. And uh, I've got a couple of barrels and a head and a few other bits and pieces that came with it to go over. Um, so yesterday I split those cases and removed the crank. And um, as usual, before I start work lightening the thing, I just want to take some before readings of any run out and uh, so I got a reference and this is probably one of the best I've ever seen I don't know whether this has been a part before or whether it's a particularly good job by the factory but that clock there is showing one thousandth of an inch run out on that side on the timing side and this one is also showing one thousandth of an inch the needles are rising and falling simultaneously or at the same time. So the one thou on this side can cancel out the one thou on that side to all intents and purposes to give us run out in the real world at the main bearings of zero. No run out. That's a very good and rare case. So um I'm going to have to do well to try and uh, bring it back as good as that. I certainly don't think I'm going to be beating it. Um, there's a reference point, a datum point for starting. And my next part of the job now is obviously to get the crank split so that I can get the flywheels in the lathe and start machining them to lighten them and then rebalance them and have them ready to go back together with, uh, I think... This one might be getting... Uh, I'll have to look at my uh, notes from the owner, but I think we're going to be changing a Conrod and Big End and probably putting a roll of Big End in it. But uh, That's all by the by for now. Uh, to start with, just got to get these split, get them lightened and rebalanced, and then uh, we'll go from there.